We all had to shut down um, and it was kind of bizarre because we were actually shooting uh, a storyline and an episode that was about a pandemic. Uh, so yeah, that was strange and surreal where life was imitating art. Um, but the storyline, I guess, we had to shut it down very quickly, but I think it still made sense. And then some of the, the footage that we didn't air, we ended up pushing to this season. I think that the writers did a really good job of bringing a very different perspective to the pandemic with Bloom because, you know, she sort of thrives off the excitement of the emergency room. And coming into season three, she misses the, the ability to be able to be with her patients and everyone just mucking in together. I think it's that all the protocol and everything that comes back in and maybe being quieter and the, the red tape, the bureaucratic red tape, I think she finds it a little suffocating. So I think she misses a lot of how things were. Yeah, I think the beauty and the hope that the show captured uh, right from the get-go, it stayed with us because, you know, a lot of the writers, I think, we haven't really lost any writers from this show. And obviously David Shulner um, at the helm. It means that the whole voice of the show and the tone of the show has stayed the same. And I think we all know our jobs and our roles within that. And I think talking to real healthcare workers, like I'm incredibly lucky because I have Lisa Wing with me 90% of the time, I think, in the ED. And so I can pick her brain with real life stories and just talk to her and hear how things are. Like I always ask, you know, she's, she's at Bellevue like yesterday and at NYU. So she knows how things are even now, plus how they were six months ago. Yeah, I hope that we will see more of Bloom's personal life. It was so fun getting to work uh, last season with, um, you know, the mum storyline and also having the stuff with uh, the, the, art, the aftermath of the crash. I think that she has grown a lot. And in the first season, we saw this huge trajectory uh, with the whole addiction. And that's something that, you know, most people who are addicts will tell you, it's not something that you ever recover from. It's sort of a lifelong battle. So yes, she's doing incredible right now, um, but it's gonna be interesting to see how that influences her down the line.